is an actress with a rare condition, and she is boldly facing the camera to help those with the same disease. The condition is called alopecia areata, and it causes your hair to fall out. The actress is now sharing her struggle in a documentary. KTLA's Lou Parker here in studio with her story. Lou. Well, Mike, I imagine one day you start to lose your hair, and before you know it, all of your hair has fallen out. It is reality for millions of men, women, and children here in the United States. For one Los Angeles-based actress, this disease turned her life upside down literally, but it has also taught her to be proud and to follow her life dream. This is what Georgia Van Kylenberg looks like. But Georgia also sometimes looks like this. This and this. Love you. The 24-year-old doesn't have cancer. She's been diagnosed with what's called alopecia areata, an autoimmune disease that causes your hair to fall out. Everyone here, because I work in an industry based on appearance, was telling me, don't tell anyone, keep it secret. You know, it will ruin your career. But that secret didn't last long. Soon, Georgia, who is an actress and comedian, decided to embrace her secret and share it with the world in this documentary, inviting cameras to see her most vulnerable moments. Oh, I really want this to stop now. <laughs> it all started for Georgia a little over four years ago. When I went to blow dry my hair, I'd just be brushing and it would just come out as I was brushing. I would feel better if I was bald by choice. Doctors say alopecia areata has no cause and so far no cure. And it affects five million people here in the United States. It's not related to what you eat nor stress. And it's not just adults. Children, like sixth grader Cameron Harrison, tells me she started to lose her hair at age five. I was concerned what other people would think of me, especially my friends, if they would want to be my friend or not. Cameron and Georgia are now friends. How do people act when they, like, they see you and you don't have a hat on or something? Um, they stare at me. I think it's the fear. Like, people, it's, it's, not as, it's not as sexy as cancer. You know what I mean? Like, you can say cancer, it's understood. <laughs> In the documentary, you see Georgia in just about every stage of her struggle. I didn't sleep so well last night. My head was burning so much on my back. It's my back. And here, it's so sore. When I met Georgia just recently, she was wearing a blonde wig. But that day, she also showed me something very special. Like at the end of the night, you can see the tape there. Yep. So I when I was darker. It's my hair is so much yeah. darker. And there's regrowth, like little bits of regrowth mm -hmm. that are coming in and all that kind of stuff. This type but, of conversation you know, is reality for Georgia, but at least no more a painful secret. I could choose to go down there, what's wrong with this situation, or I could go, well, it's happened, and I need to do something good about it. Now, the tough part about all of this is that the hair can come and go for their entire life for no reason at all. And by the way, it is not contagious. Cameron and Georgia, when I met them, such brave young, uh, young girl and a woman. They say it is just something that you really have to keep a positive attitude about. I left this interview literally like inspired mm. by these young girls just because, and they are young, 24 yeah. and 11. Um, she has made a documentary, as I mentioned, but they need 40% more funding for promotion. So that's mm -hmm. what they're, they're looking for, for help, because she really wants to be Oprah for kids, which what? I just think is so amazing that she wants to be Oprah for kids and be able to share this, not only with the kids, sure. but with the world. So it's KTLA.com, the big red info button for They more can go there and find out more information. Babylutyourhairhangdown.com. Right? Let, Let it hang down. You. There you go. I love it. Thank Thanks, you. Micah.